Welcome to our 2021 SCOI Classified Employee of the Year nomination virtual reception. And we are proud to honor these outstanding and dedicated employees who perform a wide range of essential work for SCOI. Whether working remotely or in person, classified employees can do it all. Every day they work hard to improve the lives of the students and the families that we serve. In a few minutes, we'll meet our nominees. But first, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Dave Gordon, who would like to say a few welcoming words. Superintendent. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for being here and uh, welcome. And, and once again, we have a, a stellar group of nominees who as always are doing outstanding work on behalf of our students, families, our programs, and also one another, which I think in this uh, year of the pandemic, uh, supporting one another has become more and more of a priority for, uh, for all of us as we struggle to, to work through this. And, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of our, of our SCOE family for doing that uh, 24 seven for all of, our, all of their colleagues. Uh, I also wanna thank our Board of Education for all of their support. Trustee Davis is with us today and Trustee Brown. Uh, thank you so much for the support your board gives us. I know both of you have been uh, liaison to the Personnel Commission and, and that's, been, uh, that's been ever so, ever so helpful uh, to all of us. Similarly, I wanna thank our outstanding uh, personnel commission, our three personnel commissioners. You'll hear from, uh, you'll hear from Gail Mullen in a moment. I see, uh, I see Becky, I see Becky, Taylor is, uh, Becky Taylor is with us. And thanks to all of you for the great work that you do. I, I think uh, sometimes our person, personnel commission flies under the radar because they do such a good job in, in collaboration with our HR department. Uh, things work so smoothly and uh, you, you can't imagine how many people they work through hiring and uh, processing uh, in, in a month's period of time. So, so we're appreciative for that. But again, uh, I can't thank all of you nominees uh, enough. Let's give all of them, let's give all of them a nice round of applause. Give yourselves a nice round of applause because I think it's safe to say that this would not be the quality of organization it is without uh, all of you stepping up in, in the diverse roles that you, that you play. Uh, you, what you do ranges from keeping our campuses clean to supporting teachers in the classrooms, to greeting families in, uh, in, in your offices, providing benefits, to your colleagues, understanding the benefits, which few of us uh, really do. Uh, and whether you work in the background or on the front lines, uh, you do us proud and, and, and you serve us well. From this group of nominees, we, we, we got a few quotes about what it's like to be working at SCOE. And I think this speaks to the quality of the people that are in this nominee group. What one said, it's important that everyone has a goal of high quality work. Think, think about that. Another said, if you keep a positive attitude, it will rub off on the people you work with. Isn't, isn't, isn't that the truth? Another said, I know I can always count on the people that I work with. Boy, isn't that a blessing to, to have that in your uh, workplace? And another said, as much as I've done for SCOE, I feel SCOE has done more for me. Uh, we, we, hope, we hope that's the case, but really it's you who makes SCOE, not SCOE who, who makes you. It's, it's all of your hard work and your, your sticking together. So this is how our nominees feel about what they do and how they feel about working uh, together and, and with all of you. And, and so board members and Personnel commissioners, I think you can really be proud of the people who, uh, who you call your, uh, your SCOE staff and your SCOE leaders. And I just wanna say congratulations to each and every one of you nominees. I wish we had 15 or 20 uh, awards to give to, to every single one of you. 
So we will meet uh, all of our nominees uh, shortly uh, and I'm gonna turn, turn it back over to Tim and then I'll come back later. And I, I have this, uh, it's, the, it's the, uh, the famous it's envelope. The magic envelope. I, I will open it and announce our, uh, our 2021 SCOE classified employee of the year. So again, thanks everybody. And, and uh, Tim, I'll throw it back to you. All right, Superintendent Gordon, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, at this time now, we would like to hear from one of our personnel commissioners, Chairperson Gail Mullen. Uh, Gail, please join us and say a few words. Thank you, Tim, <laughs> for allowing me to say a few words on this joyous occasion. On behalf of the Personnel Commission, it's our honor to represent and serve all of you, the classified workers at SCOE, who are easily regarded as the backbone of this fantastic organization. This is my seventh year that I've had the pleasure of attending the Classified Employee of the Year ceremony, and I am thrilled that we are able to come together, even though we meet this time over Zoom instead of in person, to honor all of you that have been recognized for all your hard work and dedication to the students, staff, and programs that you support over this past year. Traditionally, the work of classified workers takes place in the background in which it can feel like a thankless job at times. So I would like to start by saying thank you to all of you. And please know how much of a positive impact you are making to our communities from your dedication and perseverance to march forward when events over this past year could have easily slowed down from the COVID pandemic that we are all still dealing with today. I wish I could spend a few minutes thanking and highlighting each of the many duties that the classified staff accomplish each day, but going over each of the 63 different job descriptions will take us all night long to get through. Instead, I would like you to join me in celebrating the accomplishments of each of you and how you and SCOE as an organization have accepted the sudden challenge of shifting how you work where you work, and in some cases, when you work, to ensure that the show must go on. On behalf of the Personnel Commission, congratulations, keep up the great work, and have a happy and healthy 2021. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner Mullen. We appreciate you know, not only your service, but the service of the entire Personnel Commission as well. So thank you very much. Thank you. So our classified employee of the year selection process is open and simple. Employees were nominated by coworkers and or their supervisors. And we held Zoom interviews on the 17th and the 18th. And as always, it was a very challenging process. Our SCOE employee of the year will be eligible to participate at the county level to represent Sacramento County in California's classified school employee of the year program, which is coordinated by CDE. So let's meet our nominees. So nominees, when I call your name, um, I'll ask you to say hello. Please say hello so that you pop up on the screen and everyone gets to see your face and everyone gets to celebrate you. Are we ready? All right. Our first nominee is Alex Ayuli. Alex, say hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's good to see you, Alex. He is a paraeducator uh, with our program at Bannon Creek. His nominator said that Alex represents SCOE by showing to the students and their families that their children are in a caring and learning environment. Congratulations, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Congratulations now to Jason Bartley. Jason, say hello so we can see you. Hello, everyone. Jason, good to see you. Jason is a lead maintenance worker in support services. His nominator called him the driving force in setting up COVID protective devices all across SCOE to ensure a safe environment. Thanks, Jason. Our next nominee is Karen Brasurdo Atterbury. Karen, say hello. Hello, everyone. Good to see you, Karen. She's a program analyst with our School of Education. Her nominator said that she exemplifies everything that SCOE strives to be. And now we're going to celebrate Karina Beatty. Karina, say hello. Hello. Good to see you, Karina. Good she is you. our school secretary at El Centro Junior Senior High School at the Youth Detention Facility. And her nominator calls her the go-to person for everything that everyone needs at El Centro. Congratulations, Karina. 
Our next nominee is Matt Bustabay. Matt, say hello. 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 Good to see you, Matt. Thank you, Tim. Matt is a cook at our Sly Park Environmental Education Center. His nominator said that he is a hard worker and dedicated to supporting his team and that he is a role model for others. Congratulations, Matt. Now let's hear it for Georgina Court. Georgina, say hello. Hi, everybody. Good to see you, Georgina. She is a special education paraeducator with our program at uh, Vernon Greer. Georgina's nominator called her a leader in the development of creating new tools to reach all of our students during distance learning. Congratulations, Georgina. And now we are going to celebrate Jennifer Moronis. Jennifer, say hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, there's Jennifer, way out in the uh, outer space. <laughs> Good to see you. Jennifer is a program analyst with CSAPA. Her nominator said, Jennifer strives to develop working relationships with SCOE staff within and outside of CSAPA. Congratulations, Jennifer. Our next nominee is Bill Mullen. Bill, say hello. Hello, everybody. There's Bill. Bill is a technology support trainer with CNTS. His nominator said that Bill shows a great deal of dignity and loyalty to everyone that he works with. Thank you, Bill. And now we have Eliani Perone. Eliani, say hello. Hi, everyone. Eli is a uh, reentry transition specialist with our adult reentry program in Roseville. Her nominator says she strives to make a positive impact in people's lives. Congratulations, Eli. Now we have Connie Peterson. Connie, say hello. Hello. Good to see you, Connie. She is our head cook at the Sly Park Environmental Education Center, and Connie's nominator had this to say. Connie has been a huge success in maximizing Sly Park's ability to avoid spending money where it doesn't have to. Thank you for that, Connie. Next, let's hear it for Julie Quigley. Julie, say hello. Hello. Good to see you, Julie. Julie is a transition specialist uh, with our core community school program at El Centro Junior Senior High School. And Julie's nominator said, I cannot say enough about her dedication to SCOE students and her commitment to their education. Congratulations, Julie. And now we want to hear from Heather Scott. Heather, say hello. Hey, everybody. Thank you. All right, Heather is an infant educator in our special education program at the Ralph Richardson site. Heather's nominator says she is skilled at listening, observing, and offering supportive strategies to support families. Congratulations, Heather. Now, our next nominee could not uh, be here uh, to join us, but I want to tell you about him. Congratulations to Steve Basic, custodian in support services. His nominator prayed Steve for his high level of work in keeping SCOE's buildings clean during COVID. Congratulations, Steve. Next is James Wagnon. James, say hello. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, James. Still it's learning the Steve. technology with the Zoom thing. <laughs> Thanks, right. Tim. We're, we're, we're glad you're with us. James is a maintenance custodian at our Sly Park Environmental Education Center. And his nominator said, James truly loves our program and does whatever it takes to make it the best that it can be. Congratulations, James. Thank you. And next we have John Woodward. John, say hello. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here this evening. It's good to see you, John. John is our multimedia design specialist in communications. And according to John's nominator, who is me, he handles projects daily and deftly with impeccable attention. Thank you, John. And finally, only because her last name begins with Z, let's congratulate Connie Zastro. Connie, say hello. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. It's good to see you too, Connie. Connie is a printing and production specialist in support services, and her nominator calls her the heart and soul of SCOE's print shop production. Well, there you have it. Let's hear it for all of our nominees. We will make sure that each and every one of you gets a signed certificate from Superintendent Gordon. We will make sure you get that. Now, before we go further and announce our employee of the year, 
we want to hear from someone that many of you already know. She's an important part of our team at El Centro in the youth detention facility. Uh, Carrie Wernicke, we would like you to say a few words about what it's meant for you to be SCOE's 2020 Classified School Employee of the Year. Carrie? Can you hear me? Can you just fine? <laughs> okay, well, I want to first address the president, the trustees, Superintendent Gordon, colleagues, and guests. Um, everyone that is here right now with us, um, it was such an honor. You know, it was really, it was a feel good moment that someone acknowledged, you know, the work that I do. Um, and then I moved forward and, and was actually selected as SCOE's uh, Classified Employee of the Year and then moved on at the county level and was selected at a county level as well, um, which was also a great honor. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, we, we had some fun celebrations and then uh, I got put on house arrest for six, well, about eight months. <laughs> so kind of like the kids that we work with, um, I, I kind of can see why, you know, they cut off those ankle bracelets. It's not fun, you know, staying indoors. Um, we returned back on site uh, a little over a month ago, and I'm really grateful to be back in person. Um, I feel that, you know, our kids, you know, they do better with us there in person versus re working remotely. So I'm glad that we are back in person at El Centro um, so that way we can support our students in a better, at a better capacity. Um, you know, and participating in the process for this year, uh, it was really hard. Um, I, I enjoyed it because I got to meet many new faces and, and hear some really good stories from all of, all of the nominees. And I wanna congratulate all of you um, just for participating in the process. And I hope that this year goes much better for you than it did for me last year. Um, and maybe, you know, we'll get to join each other for some things this year if uh, things uh, go back to normal a little bit. But um, I just wanna say, I really appreciate all the work that we all do together and hopefully we can continue to, you know, work together to better the lives of the young people that we work with and, you know, in hopes that they have a better future. And thank you for uh, uh, everything, <laughs> basically. <laughs> okay, Carrie, thank you very much. Let's hear for Carrie. And, and Carrie, I promise you, we, we've missed out on a lot of fun stuff this year. We will make it up to you. <laughs> We, we will invite you to anything and everything we have just so that you can enjoy the opportunity. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for, for all that you've done. And uh, like I say, we promise we'll, we'll make it up to you. So like Carrie, our 2021 classified school employee of the year will represent SCOE in the Sacramento County classified employee of the year program. And this process will include paper screening or recommendation letters and uh, a virtual interview with participating districts on Friday, March 5th. So now, Superintendent Gordon, you have the secret envelope. So will you please announce the name of the SCOE Classified Employee of the Year for 2021? Yes, sir, I will do the envelope. But first, I just wanted to, uh, I didn't know they were here, recognize uh, Trustee Bina Lefkowitz, who's joined us uh, too. Thank you, Trustee Lefkowitz, for uh, all of your support for the, the work that goes on at SCOE. And our CSEA chapter president, uh, Brittany Young. Brittany, uh, uh, thank you for, for being such a strong leader through this, uh, uh, this very, very difficult time. And, and then finally, I want to acknowledge uh, uh, my colleague, our deputy superintendent, Nancy Hirota, who has just done a, just done a wonderful job uh, of uh, keeping, keeping it all together and, and keeping things moving. Uh, not only during this difficult time, but, uh, but in general, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. So the time has come. I'm opening the envelope and the, uh, the name is on this, this, little blue, this little blue sheet. And I'm very pleased and proud to announce that our SCOE Classified Employee of the Year for 2021 is James Wagnon, Maintenance Custodian, Sly Park Environmental Education Center. Congratulations, James. Okay, thank you very much, Superintendent Gordon, for that. Um, uh, James, we'd, we'd like you to say a few words, if you could, please. I'm absolutely humbled and honored. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Stephanie, for nominating me, and just thank you for selecting me. Um, I've worked for SCOE for 16 years. I've never expected to be, you know, seem like this or anything, but I'm so extremely grateful for it. 
So with that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Mm-hmm. And thank you to Brett. Thank you to everybody that's been so great to me over my time of being a SCOE. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We plan on recognizing our employee of the year during our board of education meeting on May 5th. Also remember, classified school employees week this year is May 16th through the 22nd. And with that, I just wanna say thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, And to all our employees out there um, who were nominated and those um, who were not nominated, you all do such outstanding work. We we could not survive uh, without you being part of the team. So with that, thank you very much. We appreciate uh, you joining us and we will see you again next year.